guys? Welcome to another episode of Project PA7 Bear Mode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the last episode. I had a good time. There was a lot of engagement with the comments and everything. So um, it's going to be a fun series. And today is going to be a pretty special day because it's not like the ordinary day where I'm eating tons of veggies and chicken and fats. Today is my refeed slash cheat slash Cheeto slash fun day pretty much. So, well, actually it's not a full entire day of eating basically a lot of carbs. The first half of my day is pretty normal. You know, I basically eat the way I normally eat. And then for my final meal of the day, I have a nice meal that I've been, not that I've been craving, but just something that I want, you know, like something I haven't had. And the reason for doing this is to basically restore muscle glycogen, give me a little bit of a boost in performance, even though my performance has been pretty well by utilizing fats. So yeah, today is just gonna be a fun day. But right now I have my breakfast. We have, again, we got some chicken thighs and we have some oysters and I also have some kale. Decided to bake it in the oven today rather than just steam it. So a little change here. And my body weight this morning was 205.2 pounds. So last episode you guys saw me weigh in at 211 pounds and that was basically after a full weekend of cheating. You know, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday I ate like pizza and all kinds of shit. But I just really wanted to enjoy myself and I did it. So today is Friday, it's another cheat day, all cheat meal. So at the very end of this day, I'm gonna have something that I want and I'm gonna really enjoy it and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that and show you guys how you can do that as well. 8.08 a.m. and here we have meal number one. So this is about 150 grams of kale that I tossed in olive oil and then baked it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 12 minutes. So it makes it kind of nice and crispy and nice little change rather than just steaming it all the time. And then we have four ounces of cooked chicken thighs and I already did eat the oysters. And then I'm gonna do a tablespoon of coconut oil and a tablespoon of almond butter. And that's gonna be meal number one. Pro tip, how to make kale not taste bad? Bake it in the oven. <laughs> this is pretty good. I don't mind it steamed, but after every day having it steamed, it gets kind of old, gets kind of boring. So easy way, just bake it and then kind of switch back and forth so that way you don't get bored. All right, so we are getting ready for the day, about ready to head out. And then I'm gonna head down to the campus gym. I'm gonna meet up with Raymond. And I have lower body today, so I'm gonna be hitting some front squats. And during my front squat session, I'm gonna do a voiceover rather than just playing music over training clips when it's really adding no value there. The whole point of this is to get big, get strong, and to give you guys as much value as possible. Oh, and before we head out, I wanted to let you guys know about creatine. I get this question all the time. Is creatine safe? Can I use creatine when I'm cutting? Can I use creatine when I'm bulking? Bulking. Creatine is pretty much fine whether you're cutting or bulking. I personally take C2 creatine by High Performance Nutrition. It's actually Crea Pure. And I take five grams a day, usually first thing in the morning just to get it out of the way. Timing does not matter. And it's actually a really good supplement to help with strength and size as well as increasing performance. And we also have a clinical pack, which is two bottles of PA7, plus you get a free C2 Crea Pure. The link will be in the description box below. Definitely try it, guys. I'm not talking about PA7 just to get you guys to buy it. I'm talking about it because it works. It really does work. Like it's amazing how it helps with your strength and performance. Like I've been getting DMs from people saying, oh my God, like PA7 is amazing. Like this kid's 162 pounds and he just squatted 300 pounds for three. Like he said that was an all time PR and he's like, PA7 is amazing, it's so cool how it works, and it really does work, guys, and it can really help your performance and take you to the next level. That's why I talk about it so much, and that's why I stand by it, but yeah, I definitely want you guys to check it out. But all right, enough talking. We're gonna hit the road and head to the campus. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got to the campus. I got here a little bit early, so that way I could beat some traffic. So we're gonna train in about an hour, but first I'm gonna take some PA7. Five capsules, one hour before I train. I don't train without it. Let's crush this workout. Yo. What up? <laughs> hey man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the, ca I was gonna, the calories I was gonna, are going up. I was gonna comment on your freaking <laughs> post. I'm like, dude, you're asking to go. <laughs> They're going. All right, guys. Here we are getting into my warm up. So I use this hip circle band to warm up my glutes as well as my hip flexors. I always do this before every squat session. I just do about eight to ten reps here, and it'll give you a nice 
contraction on the glutes as well as the hip flexors and get everything firing ready to squat. Then I like to do some dynamic stretching and dynamic stretching is when you're using motion. So static stretching is when you're holding the stretch in a position where the muscle is fully extended. So dynamic stretching is very beneficial pre-workout and static stretching you want to save that for after the workout because if you do static stretching before your workout it has been shown to actually make you weaker so you want to do dynamic stretching like i'm doing here so eight to ten reps per leg and that should get you nice and fired up warm and ready to squat then i like to do a few warm-up sets before my working weight so we used 95 pounds and then we went up to 135 pounds and then 185 pounds and then 225 pounds so this is going to help prime the central nervous system get it ready for the heavier weights and so i worked up to 275 pounds for my working sets i did four sets of four my rep target was four to six reps here and i was pretty impressed with my strength since i have not front squatted in a very long time so super pumped on it and i'm really stoked to just keep progressing with project pa7 bear mode I'm really loving getting stronger. Next movement, we have some snatch grip rack pulls. And this is a really great movement for the upper back and trap development. Now, as you can see here, my grip is pretty wide and that's a snatch grip. So the wider you go, the harder that it gets. And I did four sets of eight to 10 reps. Then we moved on to some calf raises. So three sets here, 20 to 25 reps. And yeah, don't forget to train your calves, guys. Your calves are very important. Everybody always really neglects them. And as you guys can see, I do have pretty decent calves. And it's definitely due to all of the years of skateboarding that I've done. So uh, my legs are definitely one of my strong points. So I'm really trying to bring up my upper body to really catch up. And here's Raymond training some shoulders. He trained shoulders and traps today. And then I ended up doing some traps at the end of the workout as well. So we just did some heavy dumbbell shrugs and some power shrugs. And that pretty much wraps up the workout, guys. Check out the yoke. The yoke is definitely coming in. So is the fluff. But I'm completely okay with it. Bear mode, baby. Hell yeah, big boom. Yeah. There we go. Now we're talking. Alright guys, we're starting off with a blue cheese wedge salad. So we got blue cheese, bacon, lettuce, and damn this thing looks tasty. Alright, let's dig in. Raymond got some avocado egg rolls. Some egg rolls because I'm Asian. <laughs> I couldn't. Oh man, that thing is massive. Holy you shit. got that? Yeah. You got that? <laughs> Alright guys, so I went with half pepperoni and half barbecue chicken. Oh man, this is going to be so epic. That thing is pretty massive. <laughs> oh shit. It's about to go down though. Damn, that's good. All right, guys, this pizza is literally so damn amazing. Like the crust, the dough is just so tasty. It's like. I don't know if it's because I haven't had carbs in a week, but this just tastes extra, extra good. How's that burger? Bomb. Medium rare. Melting on my tongue. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is so wrong, but it feels so right. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, Nick is beast. <laughs> I'm a good eater, but he's he has me. I definitely gotta move out here. That Friday <laughs> will be hella yoked. Should I end it with a pepperoni or end it with a barbecue chicken? I'll end it with a, with a pepperoni. This one. Yeah. Yeah. What flavor? Peanut butter? Enjoys it? Peanut butter? Or white chocolate? I, white do chocolate. Half half? Can you do that? Half peanut butter, half white chocolate? Yeah. Best of both worlds. What RPE are you at right now? A fullness, zero being uh, starving, ten being. Full spot. Tapping out. I'd say I'm at like maybe a six. Oh my. <laughs> I could keep doing some damage. I could probably eat a whole other pizza. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. You're a beast. And I'm living off vegetables and meat and fat all day, all week. So, how does it feel during the week while you're eating those foods? Is it like torture? Do you feel like you're like just trapped? It's it takes discipline. Yeah, it, it takes sacrifice, but how like how do you feel as you're just eating and you're still hungry? Um I just pound water. You know, like I, it's always like thank you. It's always like Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. You're salty, that's good. Yeah, that's good. But it just gets so repetitive. Because each meal is like a veggie's gonna be either Brussels sprouts or kale or like butter lettuce, and then it's like a protein source. And I'm typically eating the same protein source throughout the day because I'll just cook it in in bulk. You know, I'll cook like a pound or two of chicken or chicken thighs and just split it up for the meals. And then the fat sources are like coconut oil, olive oil, almond butter. So I just kind of, I don't know, it gets a little repetitive, but. I'm definitely improving. I feel a lot better, and if I can do this once per week, it's a it's a win-win for me. Oh, it's so good. Thank you, man. Yeah, Zuka time. Two scoops. They only give you two scoops if they like you. <laughs> Yeah, they like us. So I got half peanut butter and half white chocolate macadamia nut. Oh yeah, it's 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 on. Can I get you? This is Nick's first ever pizookie. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Getting a little bit of ice cream, a little bit of pizookie. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> that's crazy. You just melt in your mouth? It was like cookie dough, like. Wow. My main concern is just um, balancing out the, the ratio of ice cream and kazuki. All right, guys, and decided to stop at CVS. I grabbed the Three Musketeers bar. We have some golden Oreos, and we have some Sour Heads. I'm gonna eat these while I drive home, and then let's check in for a weigh-in once I get back. All right, guys, we are back home and pretty full. So let's step on the scale. This morning I was 205.2 pounds. Let's see where I'm at right now. Two hundred and fifteen pounds. So pretty much up ten pounds from this morning. 
but I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll check in with you guys in the morning and weigh in and see what I weigh. All right guys, good morning. Let's weigh in. Two hundred and twelve point eight pounds. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun yesterday eating everything that I wanted to eat. And yes, my weight is up today. But over the course of the next couple days, it's going to come back down. It's not all fat gain. It's all just water, glycogen, extra food volume in my stomach. And so during this bulk, you know, I'm shooting for a half a pound to one pound per week. You don't have to put on so much body fat to get strong, to get big. Now it does take time, so you got to be patient. And obviously with me doing these higher calorie days, it's gonna shoot my weight right up. But over the course of the week, you know, weekly calorie balance and then, you know, the weekly average weigh-ins, that's why the more data you have, the better. Six days out of the week, I'm tracking my macros. I'm hitting roughly 200 grams of fat, 200 grams of protein, and about 100 grams of carbs. So I'm doing that all throughout the week and eating basically just green veggies, meat and fats. So this one day I'm pretty much eating whatever I want and yesterday I ate 7,000 calories. So that's basically double my intake for a day. And it was great, it was good, I loved it, I enjoyed it. And now I'm back on track and PA7 bear mode continues. So, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please let me know in the comments down below if you did. Please give it a like. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and I appreciate all of you guys. See you in the next one, peace.